Art of the Possible is a really ambitious programme that we are bringing together with a range of partners from BT to the Wildlife Trust to Public Health Wales, Sport Wales, Housing Associations and a range of others. Um, what we want to do is to explore and explain what the national wellbeing goals mean in practice. We want to do that in a straight talking way. We want to do that in a way which involves uh, people who have expertise across the wellbeing goals and the experiences of real people understanding what their lives are like. And then live testing that in terms of supporting public bodies to help them take forward their wellbeing objectives. Today we've been consolidating what we've learned really over the discovery phase of the last few months and what are the, the key messages that we've picked up from all the different partners we've met. So for me personally I'm, and the goal that I work on, on a, of a more equal Wales, it's been linking with people like Disability Wales, Diverse Cymru, the Equality and Human Rights Commission, Stonewall Cymru to try and find out what are those the quick wins or whatever term you want to use that we can be feeding back to public bodies to support them for change. For me the main highlight has been sort of taking me outside of my bubble a little bit as well in my area of expertise and finding out more things about you know different parts of the Prosperous Wales goal as well. Um, meeting different people, um, different organisations, getting their views, finding out about some really innovative projects that are happening on, on the ground as well. I suppose the challenges have been, I think we've all sensed that a lot of public bodies are just kind of stuck in a bit of a groove doing what they've always done and you know that can be a bit frustrating when we see that but let's, let's stick, stick to the positive stuff there's a lot going on there which we can build on. Part of the alpha phase needs to be about feeding back to the people we've already met and proving to them the impact that their involvement has had and um, the, the, the positivity of working with us I suppose so I'm really keen to make sure that that happens and to have some innovative ways of communicating with them too so we don't want to do business as usual we want things that are exciting and get people enthusiastic about implementing the act because that's the, the best way to create that culture and wave of change I suppose. It's a really exciting piece of work uh, and I hope that they'll be out and about talking to you, getting your ideas, um, understanding if you're working in a public body, um, what you need to help your public body deliver against the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act. <laughs>